Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to divide mixed fractions or mixed numbers. We will be solving a lot of examples in this video. This single video can be of great help and practice for you all to learn dividing mixed fractions. So let's start with our first example 3 and 1 third divided by 1 and 3 eighth. So the first step in dividing mixed fractions is start by converting these mixed fractions into improper fractions. So our first fraction will be 3 times 3 plus 1. 3 times 3 plus 1 divided by 3. And the second fraction will be 8 times 1 plus 3 divided by 8. So 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. So this is 10 by 3 divided by 8 times 1 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, 11 by 8. So these mixed fractions now converted to improper fractions. The second step is keep the first fraction as is, change the sign in between the two fractions so that division sign gets changed into multiplication sign and then we have to flip the this is our fraction 11 by 8 now we are going to flip the fraction so this will be 8 by 11 flipping means changing the numerator to denominator and denominator to numerator so the steps here are convert so we have converted the mixed fraction into improper fraction then change the sign so we changed the sign and then third one is flip the other fraction so the three steps involved here are convert change and flip so we have converted the mixed fraction into improper fraction then we change the sign in between the two fractions so this division sign gets changed to multiplication sign and then we flip the other fraction so a fraction will now be 10 times 8 in the numerator and 3 times 11 in the denominator. So this is 8 times 10 is 80 and 3 times 11 is 33. This is our final answer. Let's move on to our second example. So our second example is 2 and a 1 third divided by 1 and 1 sixth. So let's remember our rule convert change and then flip first step which is converting the fraction into improper fraction so this will be 2 times 3 plus 1 divided by 3 divided by 1 times 6 plus 1 divided by 6 2 times 3 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 this is 7 by 3 divided by 1 times 6 is 6 plus 1 is 7 7 by 6 done with our first step now we'll change and flip together in a single step 7 by 3 will be as is we'll change the sign to multiplication and then flip our fraction to 6 by 7 now our fraction is 7 times 6 divided by 3 times 7 this we can reduce because this 7 times 1 and 7 times 1, they have a common factor of 7. Now 3 and 6 have a common factor of 3, 3 times 1 and 3 times 2. So our final answer is 2. Now let's solve one more example where one of the fractions is a mixed fraction and the other one is an improper fraction. 1, 1 by 4 divided by 8. Here we have a mixed fraction and a single number which can be written as 8 by 1. So first we will convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So this will be 1 times 4 plus 1 divided by 4 divided by 8 by 1. We can write this number as a fraction 8 by 1. Now 1 times 4 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. This is 5 by 4 divided by 8 by 1. Now we will move to our second and third step. This is 5 by 4 times we will flip the fraction. So this will be 1 by 8. We have 5 times 1 in the numerator and 4 times 8 in the denominator. 
So this will be 5 divided by 4 times 8 is 32. So our final answer will be our final answer will be 5 upon 32. Now let's solve one more example of the category where the divisor is a mixed fraction and dividend is a single number. Next example is 2 divided by 4 4 fifths. So here first fraction is a single number we can write it as 2 over 1 divided by our mixed fraction is there so we'll convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction so this is 4 times 5 plus 4 divided by 5 2 by 1 divided by 4 times 5 is 20 20 plus 4 is 24 divided by 5 now we'll do the two steps together change and flip so our dividend will be as is then we'll change the sign and flip the fraction so this will be 5 by 24 so our numerator is now 2 times 5 and denominator is now 1 times 24 we can simplify this fraction further cause 2 and 24 have a common factor of 2 this will be 2 times 1 and 2 times 1 and 2 times 2 so 2 times 12 is 24 so now we have our fraction as 5 by 12 so our final answer is 5 by 12. So kids you should make a practice of writing the fraction always in the reduced form or the simplest form. Whenever there are common factors you should try to cancel them and write the fraction into simplest form. Let's move on to our last example. So our next example is 1 by 6 divided by 1 1 fourth. Here one is an improper fraction and the other one is a mixed fraction. So we'll start with our first step, converting the mixed fraction into improper fraction. So this will be 4 times 1 plus 1 divided by 4. 1 sixth divided by 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 5. So this will be 5 by 4. Now we'll do the second and third steps together. So 1 sixth times 4 by 5. So our fraction will be 1 times 4 divided by 6 times 5 here we see that we have a common factor of 2 in between 4 and 6 because both are even numbers we can reduce the fraction so 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 3 is 6 now we have 2 in the numerator 2 times 1 and 3 times 5 in the denominator which is equal to 2 upon 15 so our final answer is 2 by 15. So this was our last example. Let's take a recap of the steps involved in dividing mixed fractions. Whenever you divide mixed fractions, just remember to convert the mixed fraction or mixed number into improper fraction first. The second step is to change the division sign into multiplication sign together with the third step of flipping the other fraction. So I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.